if you just wanted to do the basics like deploying some Chromebooks to staff out on the road and you need to remote access your staff Chromebooks, excellent. It's already built in. Click one button and you're right in to be able to support them. Can Chrome Remote Desktop be used as an administrative support tool? I'm not sure if it can be deployed by MSI or by group policy deployment. I wouldn't say it's amazing. It's okay as a remote support tool. It's great when you're using Chrome devices because effectively they've pretty much got things built in. And if you're using a Chrome box or a Chrome book, you can get a number of analytics and data in your Google admin panel from Google directly. And so if you've got device management licenses set up on Chrome devices, well, then you've got a whole bunch of data that actually comes through onto your account and you can automatically see and have basic access to devices right from the Google admin panel. Can you do the same thing with Windows machines or Mac machines in your business? Mm, it's not quite the same. You can certainly deploy Chrome, but my understanding is that you still have to have some user interaction anytime you want to provide support for someone. And so you're going to have to get a code from them or permission from them to be able to connect to their machine. But what I can at least show you here, I don't have any Windows or Mac machines that I can control from the admin panel. I certainly have machines that I have manually added to my own Chrome remote desktop. But as you'll be able to see here, it's a bit of a manual process. Let's jump in here and I'll show you a demo of what it looks like. So if I go to remote, oops, Chrome remote desktop, and I'll open this up. So this is more so I would say really a consumer level service. I don't have any on this account, but let me switch to my personal account. Here we go. So you can see I've got a number of different machines that I've saved to my account. Now, there's no way to share this with other people in my business. So, you know, if I was on an IT team, and I wanted to share access to these computers to someone else. I can't do that. I'm the only one who can basically log in and get access to them, which is a bit of a bummer. I'm gonna go ahead and log into this one. It just asks me for a code. I can choose to remember the code if I like, but here we go. I've logged into the computer. Now the performance here is fantastic. I really like Chrome Remote Desktop. I use it often, but it's not so much an IT management tool as much as it is more a personal consumer level remote desktop screen sharing tool. It's excellent though, if you're in a business and you don't mind if you were to set it up on each person's computer, if you don't mind you know, getting a code from each person every time you need to provide support, works pretty well for that. It's just not really the level of sophistication of team-based unattended access. If you say had an IT team of five people doing support for a couple of hundred people, it's not quite going to work in that scenario because you can't do things like share logins and there's plenty of other tools out there that will do a better job but let me show you what you can see if for example you're managing a chrome device let's go into my chrome devices here and it'll show me any chrome books or chrome boxes that are connected to my account so let's try and find one that's maybe logged in if we got any that have been used recently here we go okay cool so that's probably scott's machine so i can go ahead and log into the machine it's going to give me lots of information on you know where it's at when was the last time it logged in looks like it was a couple of days ago here we do have a remote desktop button so i can click the remote desktop my understanding is i haven't done this one for a while but my understanding is that it does prompt the user to accept that so it's not a full unattended access so i would say that this feature is useful if you're using Chrome devices, but for Windows machines or Macs, which you probably want to have access to remote control, it's not really an enterprise level remote desktop solution, but used on a small scale in a small business, fantastic. Used occasionally, fantastic. As a scaled solution, not so great, but if you just wanted to do the basics, like deploying some Chromebooks to staff out on the road, and you need to remote access your staff Chromebooks, Excellent. It's already built in. Click one button and you're right in to be able to support them. But I would consider other tools if you have a very large rollout and a mix of different operating systems. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. 
If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.